Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about structure of cilia and flagella. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So first of all, we should know that both cilia and flagella share the same structure. The entire cilia or flagella is covered by a membrane. So this is the cilia or you can say this is the flagella. So it has the membrane. So the entire structure is covered by the membrane and this membrane is continuous with the plasma membrane of the cell. So a cilia or flagella emerges from a basal body and that basal body is derived from centriole. And the core of the cilia or flagella uh, is called axoneme. So it is the core. Core of the cilia or flagella is called axoneme. And axoneme contains series of microtubules like that. So these red colored strands or microtubules I have drawn here. So it axoneme contains series of microtubules that runs longitudinally through the entire organelle. You can see that the microtubules are running longitudinally. Uh, so this is the structure of the axoneme. So in the structure, we can see that this is the central pair of microtubules. Central pair because one and two. Two microtubules are there. So this is the central pair of microtubules and here you can see these are nine uh, microtubules doublet. So these are found in the periphery portion of this axoneme. So these are actually nine peripheral microtubules and these are present in doublet, doublet. That means two such microtubules are arranged in each doublet. This is one doublet. This is another doublet. This is another doublet. So you can see two such microtubules are arranged in each doublet. One is blue one, another is brown one. And this type of microtubule structure is known as 9 plus 2 array. 9 plus 2 array. This is called 9 plus 2 array. So 9 means these are 9 doublets. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 2 means 2 are in central part. So this is called 9 plus 2 array. Now all microtubules of the axoneme have the same polarity. Polarity uh, that means they are plus ends are at the tip of the projection. So this is the flagella or cilia. Here this is the plus end. This end is found in the tip of the uh, projection and the minus end is found at the base. So this is the base. Base means this is located in the plasma membrane. So minus end is at the base and plus end is at the tip of the projection. So this is the polarity and this is same for all. Okay, now each peripheral doublet uh, consists of one complete microtubule. So complete microtubule is this one, the blue one. This is called A tubule and one that is the incomplete. So A tubule is complete and this B tubule is incomplete. So one is A tubule that is complete microtubule. Another is B tubule that is incomplete microtubule. And why complete and incomplete? Because A tubule, this blue one, it contains 13 subunits. If you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see that 13 subunits are present in this a tubule that means 13 microtubules are present in each of these and uh, the B tubule contains 11 10 to 11 subunits so this is the B tubule this is incomplete it contains 10 to 11 subunits uh, instead of 13 okay now the central tubules are enclosed by a central sheath. You can see this is the sheath. So this is the central sheath and the central tubules are enclosed by this sheath. And this central sheath is connected to the A tubules of the peripheral doublets by some radial spokes. You can see these are some spokes, spokes like cycle. You can see this 
type of spokes in cycle. So, this central sheath is connected with the A tubule through some spokes. These radial spokes are located in the A tubules in this uh, blue color tubules and they connect them to the central sheath. And uh, the, these doublets uh, are connected to one another by the inter doublet bridge. So, this is the inter doublet bridge. You can see this inter doublet bridge is found between two such doublets. So, these inter doublet bridges are connecting these doublets, and this inter doublet bridge is composed of an elastic protein that is nexin. And uh, two types of dynein arms are found here. So, one is this where you can see three headed outer dynein arm. You can see one, two, three, three headed dynein arm that is the outer dynein arm because this dynein arm is present in the outside part of the doublet. And here two headed inner dynein arm you can see. This dynein arm has only two heads that is found in the inner surface, inner surface of the doublet. So, these uh, two types of dynein arms which are called two headed inner arm and three headed outer arm are projected from the A tubule. 